Welcome back to The Forge for another Rusty production. Today, we celebrate 100 subscribers. Talk about humbling 100 subscribers. Um, when I started this channel, I, I thought it would be great to get 100 subscribers. Uh, so I could actually get the personalized channel uh, <laughs> and have finally been able to get that URL, which is pretty cool. Um, but I had no intention of, of making this channel for this purpose. Uh, so I thought I'd just make this quick video as a bit of a thank you to all of you who have subscribed uh, and a quick hello to any of the new subscribers too, to sort of get an understanding of, of why I do what I'm doing on this channel. So um, to, to sort of tell the story, I have to go back a little bit. Um, uh, Right now in this channel, I'm doing novice blacksmithing. I'm, I'm learning how to blacksmith from absolute scratch. I, I'm not a handy individual. It is certainly not something um, that I do for a living. Uh, this is something that's completely new to me and a complete hobby. I've only been doing it really for five months now. Um, and in that time, uh, I've done everything from learn to weld, from like have never welded before, to learn to weld, weld um, and put together my own forge. Uh, created my own anvil, which was amazing. I uh, haven't really even done much in the way of grinding before, but was able to grind down steel to, to create a sort of uh, a mock anvil than something I've been able to make all sorts of things on. Uh, and have literally been learning the process from scratch, uh, making mistake after mistake, and uh, having all, uh, all the people in this YouTube community actually contribute to uh, helping me get better. And I actually think that I'm slowly, slowly getting better. Um, but that, that doesn't matter. This is, this is something that I think that uh, is going to take me a lifetime to master, and I don't intend to master it. It's just one of these things that I, I think I'm gonna love enjoying the process of learning throughout my entire life. Um, so in other words, I've really taken to this thing called blacksmithing. And there's, a, there's probably a reason why I got into it, and I thought that's what I'd share with you quickly today. So um, uh, two years ago, um, I uh, had a bit of a, an operation scare. So uh, I got really sick, um, uh, went into hospital, they said I should be fine. Um, they had this thing called diverticulitis and then they thought, well, maybe it's that playing up, um, or, but you know, it's not a big deal, you're a young guy, you're, un you're under 40, um, and so it shouldn't really be that much of an issue. And uh, so they sent me home, I left the hospital. And uh, anyway, five days later, I hadn't consumed any uh, food and water for you know, about seven odd days. Uh, and my wife, a uh, smart woman, dragged me back into the hospital and actually made me uh, wait in the admissions area for about eight or nine hours until I was admitted. Uh, not a fault of the hospital in, in particular, like it, it's just something that they missed, but I had a perforated bowel, which means basically a hole in my bowel. And uh, I was pretty crook. So um, uh, they, I said that they were going to operate and they were going to take it all out and uh, I was going to have a colostomy bag and take six months to get, get better and, and inch by inch I slowly actually recovered um, uh, over the next 24 hours and I didn't have to have that operation then and there. Um, but it was a bit of a scare and, and, and it was just staying in hospital over that time um, that you know, you're know you up in the middle of the night at two o'clock and you're listening to 90 year old um, plus uh, women that have got dementia, screaming out for their mothers, um, just sort of really uh, stuff that makes you think. The Think about you know, what else am I doing? Like I've got a, a good business, I've got a great family. Um, I actually do marketing for a business. I'm not sure if any of you are aware of that, but it's, it's not hands on stuff. And I'd always had this idea of creating legacy like, um, uh, what am I going to leave behind? And, and before it was business, and then I've got kids, and now it's sort of more about the kids. Um, but I really uh, was missing something, and I didn't know what it was. So um, uh, anyway, I, I started this search. And, and while I was starting this search, I actually did have to have the operation. So I did have to have 30 centimeters of my bowel out, a major operation. I've now got a, like a C-section scar. I've got all these scars around my stomach and stuff as well. Uh, but it was a bit of a freak out and something that happened before I was 40, uh, so it was something surprising. And um, so yeah, it did. The whole process, that whole sort of year and a half made me really rethink what I was doing. And so I started looking and I'm looking for hobbies and I'm looking for this thing and that thing and what have you. I did, did a little bit of electrical work. Um, uh, <laughs> shocked myself quite a few times, uh, blew up a whole bunch of capacitors. 
and uh, did a whole lot of things experimenting where I probably should have done a little bit more reading. So um, I don't think electricity and me are the uh, are best of friends. I don't think that's a, a place that I wanted to spend too much time. But I did see from this YouTube community all these different people on YouTube um, learning to smith. And it's learning to smith wood, learning to smith uh, metal. And there was something about that, there's something sort of medieval and awesome about that, that I, I really wanted to give it a go. Um, and so uh, I thought I would. And, uh, and that's what I've been doing for the last five months. I've been giving it a go. And it has been absolutely awesome. The process of being able to make something out of nothing, the ability to take like a piece of steel or an old file or whatever it might be, and reshape it into something has been incredibly fulfilling. And uh, from coming from a place of having no skill uh, with my hands to a place where I'm actually starting to create things that are either useful, like my, like my tongs, um, uh, useful like uh, starting to create hammers, um, useful like bottle openers, and they're incredibly useful, <laughs> as most of you know. Um, it, it is something that I've, I've really fallen in love with and I've done everything in the last um, five months from, like I said, with the forge and the anvil but to making my own um, wooden door with its own uh, hardware and the hardware is something I blacksmithed. Um, I, I made like these tongs. These were my first tongs, these ones here, just, some, uh, just to hold some flat stock. They're pretty, pretty terrible but they still work uh, to being able to now see here. Uh, these are the last set of tongs I made, and these these ones I'm actually really happy with, and they're, they're closer to I guess a farrier set of tongs, um, but they're they you know they're weighty, they've got some substance, and they're, and they're something that I've really been happy with, uh, and and I've done another project which none of you have actually seen yet. I was going to do a whole uh, video on it, which would have been amazing. Um, but going through the process, I realised it wasn't fair for me to film where I was filming because I, I did a course. Uh, and that course was with um, one of the only Australian uh, master ABS smiths uh, that we've got here in Australia. And um, I did a course with him and actually created this knife at a, a bit of um, a 1084 stock. And uh, you know, it's got a tapered tang and everything. So now I've got to go through the process of actually putting uh, scales on the tapered tang. So I'm using a little bit of this redwood I'm going to go through the process of finishing this knife. It's tempered. I've learned how to actually make a knife. I was shown how to make a knife, uh, even how to get a warp out of the knife. So, um, <laughs> this is crazy. Five months from nothing to being able to make this sort of thing and actually understanding the process of how to make it, of actually how to uh, create the choil, of how to actually like um, uh, mark out the metal and grind it back. I don't know that knives are always going to be my thing. I would like to make more knives, but the amount of grinding that's involved in them um, uh, doesn't suit my patience style. But even recently, like in some of the videos you just saw, you know, being able to, to create this bit of wood uh, that allows me to shape spoons, <laughs> medieval type spoons. Um, I never would have thought that I would be doing this six months ago. So. Um, I just want to thank everybody who subscribed, everybody who has liked a video, commented on a video, given me advice and, um, and really been enthusiastic about the work that I'm doing here in this little forge underneath my house. Um, I'm loving it. So thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for supporting me um, uh, over the next weeks, months, years. I really truly do believe. Uh, that I'll be doing this for a hell of a long time. Uh, I've got all sorts of projects coming up. I'll be um, uh, forging a, uh, while well, welding, a, um, a hardy hole onto my anvil. Uh, I'm gonna be taking this, uh, this hammer, this uh, sledge hammer that I uh, you know, did a bit of a funny video on originally, but I'm actually gonna take this and actually turn it into a rounding hammer, but like a proper rounding hammer. Uh, I've just got to get myself a hardy hole so I can create some tools for that sort of thing. So I've got to tool up a bit. Um, and, and I guess what I want to do uh, in this video is I want to give something away. So um, uh, this is what I've had on my keys since the last video I posted. This is a bottle opener that I've been using. It's been very successful and I can tell you that uh, <laughs> it definitely works. Um, I would like to post this to somebody anywhere in the world where you are 
if you would like to win this, what I would like you to do um, is write uh, in the comments below 100 subs and I will look down into the, the comments and actually pick uh, one of the first people I see uh, over the next couple of days and I will post this to wherever you are in the world. So I'll, I'll make contact with you somehow and, and we will get it to you. Um, but yeah, um, the reason I got into this is I was searching for something to do with my hands. I'm now doing it with my hands. I love it. Um, I still do my day job obviously within the marketing. I come home, I hit metal, I get hot, I get sweaty, and I create awesome things out of, not nothing, because it, the, the metal exists, uh, but I'm able to take just solid pieces of metal and turn them into things that I can now use to make other things. Um, and I'm just, just loving the process. So again, a big thank you to everybody. I uh, appreciate your support. Um, if you like this video, obviously like it. Uh, I'm gonna keep saying that sort of thing. <laughs> uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe uh, because there's amazing videos coming up soon and, uh, and I love seeing what you've got to do too. So anybody who subscribes, I usually like have a look back at your channel and see what you're up to and so sort of join in your community as well. And that's one of the great things I love about this is that we have this big global as there's literally a global blacksmithing community and whether you're at the top of the tree and you're a master smith or whether you're literally just starting at the bottom like I am, um, it is great to be part of this and, um, and, and enjoy the process of growing and learning with every single one of you. So uh, thank you very much and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.